Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you this morning? Hello. How's your Friday? AKA, good morning, how are you? Hello. I know this is, <laughs> this is a crazy time. Hello, how are you? Good morning, Pastor Carter. It's a crazy, 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 great and wonderful morning. Good morning, Miss Annette. Good morning, AK 3774. Miss Jasmine, good morning. Good morning. I see Miss Andrea. I got your email, girl. I'm going to hit you back. Good morning. Let's see who else is on here real quick. Fit Green Machine. Good morning. Leah, my sweetie pie. Good morning, Jonathan. Been praying for you and your wife, Rakita. We love you guys. Hey, Miss Shay. Ariel or Ariel from Maryland. Good morning. Pittsburgh. Good morning. Tamisha from Brooklyn. Good morning. Hey, Natasha. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. So it is time for our Friday uh, power prayer call. I believe your topic may hold an answer to what I have before the Lord. Amen. Yvonne from Philly. Good morning. El Paso, Texas. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie pie. Corey Holder. Good morning. Nicole from Houston. Good morning. Good morning. Somebody's ready in Canada. Good morning. You guys make me so excited, Miss Margaret. You guys truly, truly make my day. Oh, I think that's Miss Catherine. She rose 31. I tried to get on your mailing list. You are, but we haven't sent out anything uh, this week. Good morning from New York, Indiana, Montclair, New Jersey. So you guys are saying, okay, it's not 6 a.m. Okay, it's not 7.30, Joanne. What is going on? You're out somewhere and everything is green and you got this popping pink lipstick. Good morning, Miss Wendy. Um, today is, uh, t I have so much mommy stuff going on. It is Mother's Day weekend. And so for all the mothers, oh my God, we celebrate you you're amazing you're wonderful happy 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 Mother's Day um, and that's I have been in mommy mode Hadara is registering for uh, for kindergarten so we were running around all day yesterday because they have to have hey Miss Ada well, you have to have all of this stuff going on thank you thank you so much you got to you know have their teeth checked and they have to have a physical and they have to be up to date with their shots and just all kind of stuff so it was just running literally all day yesterday uh, but I did get her <laughs> I did get her registered because I don't want to have to deal with that for the rest of the summer I just wanted it to be done so I know once the fall comes we can just be done show up for the first day of school and it's not lingering over my head I hate just having things lingering over my head and because we have so much going on all the time it's like I try to get whatever the easy stuff done you know that I can just kind of get it out of the way so I don't have to think about any more so I was running around like crazy and then um, as I'm going thinking it's like okay we're doing the prayer call at 7 30 now and then I remembered I have a parent teacher conference for Hadara at 7 30 so I was like okay let me stop at the park before I take uh, Ariana to school and check in with my people because I didn't want you guys to think that I had forgotten about you I didn't want you to think um, that we were not going to do it today and I didn't want to do it too late in the day because we have a lot of amazing things going on this weekend for Mother's Day weekend we have um, a Mother's Day brunch thank you Coco <laughs> Coco not Coco that's so funny um, we have a Mother's Day brunch this Sunday at Rainfire Church. So if you want to be a part of that, send me an email um, to joanne at rainfirechurch.org. So we're going to have brunch um, after 11 a.m. service. Oh my God, it's going to be just so good. I'm just telling everybody, come on, skip the lines and come and celebrate uh, moms with us at Rainfire Church. So if you want to be a part of that, send me an email, joanne at rainfirechurch.org with your name and how many people will be in your party so we can prepare, so we can prepare for you. We're really excited. We love to uh, bless people, to serve people, to feed people. <laughs> Somebody, Miss Wendy said, send me a flight. Hey, Miss Violet. Um, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, I, we love to bless people. We love to feed people spiritually, naturally. We love to fellowship. At Rainfire Church, we're a family. Oh, Kiara, we miss you too. We are truly, truly a family. You're amazing and so consistent. I'm single and I need to do better. Girl, all of us have areas where we need to do better. So make sure you sign up for the brunch. Send me an email. We'll put you down on the list. Um, we're going to have a great time. Um, we've been working hard to just kind of get e everything ready for Sunday. And um, But everything besides that is great. I'm going to get the girls to school. Uh, blessings from Washington. I can't believe I finally catch you after three weeks. My internet's so bad. I'm so sorry. Yes, Najee is doing great. Najee is doing uh, very good. We just uh, keep him um, 
you know, in our prayers. Uh, he just kind of deals with um, a few things that he's just been dealing with, um, kind of just like a all all his life type of thing. So we're believing God for some supernatural turnaround for him, and we cover him and his family. Amen. Uh, but to the topic of the day, because I do have to get Ariana, hey, Miss Jeanette, to school. Topic of the day. Sometimes you have to step out of yourself. And the reason I'm not going to go into a scripture, I'm not going to go into anything deep today. I just kind of wanted to... Um, just uh, yeah it is good reception out here this may need to be our spot <laughs> for the Friday uh, morning prayer call thank you um, you know sometimes life can be very very overwhelming sometimes um, you can deal with so much especially moms you know you can deal with so much frustrations and I'm not trying to take yeah depending on the weather exactly exactly I'm not trying to take anything away from the dads because the dads carry a lot you know in their own world but in a mom's world in a woman's world uh, you deal with so much we're very uh, emotional beings we 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 deal with things at the heart uh, things uh, pierce us very deeply um, things hurt us very very severely we don't always know how to just shake things off and keep it moving and it's oh my god it's very easy to get self-absorbed okay it's very easy to get self-absorbed in our issues uh, in our problems in uh, how our, our, our feelings of inadequacy um, feeling overwhelmed feeling angry feeling frustrated feeling unappreciated feeling like you know what you do is not enough or that uh, people don't care or people don't that somebody is <laughs> is lifting their hand um, you know it's very easy to get in that place and I think that um, the temptation is to allow that place to to drown you. The temptation is to allow that place to consume you. And that's the word that I'm looking for. Uh, it's easy to allow that place to consume you. So everything that you think about is that and everything. I mean, you can go to bed feeling frustrated and wake up still feeling frustrated because you're not dealing with it, because you're not getting it off your, your chest, because you're not praying. I love you, Kizzy. I'm sorry. Things have been so crazy, but I will, uh, I will get with you. I promise. Um, you can go to bed feeling angry and wake up still feeling angry because you're not giving those things to God. You're not releasing those things. You're not um, allowing the Holy Spirit to just kind of somebody to help us, baby Jesus. Yes. And, you know, as women, as mothers, um, you know, it can it can become so easy to fall into that trap and to fall into that place. But one of the things that I have found and, and we have to fight for this. OK, we have to fight for this. You have to fight uh, to come out of yourself. Let me say that again. You have to fight to come out of yourself. You have to fight to go beyond yourself. You have to uh, really grab a hold of yourself. Take a deep breath in this beautiful morning air. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and come out of yourself and take a moment uh, to look around and see, okay, what is happening on the outside of me? What is happening uh, to the people that are around me? What is happening to those that are closest to me? Because you may be going through, but it's very possible that you may not be the only one going through. And if you only stay stuck in your misery, misery in your depression, in your frustration, if you only stay stuck within yourself, you, you are not able to be used by God and and it's such a temptation to stay in that place to stay um, in that place just that internal uh, dark place in that internal uh, place of sadness of frustration it's just easy to stay in that internal place but my prayer for us today is that the Holy Spirit would be able to help us to see outside of ourselves that the Holy Spirit would be able to help us step outside of ourselves that we would be able to step outside Outside of ourselves and maybe even look back at ourselves and really see what's going on with us be able to really see what's going on with the people that are around us and and when we step out of ourselves to put our issues on hold just enough put your issues on hold put my issues on hold just enough just enough to be able to extend a hand to help someone else you may not be able to do it for long you you may not be strong enough to you know carry somebody's burden all the way to the finish line but maybe you can pick it up and take five steps uh, to help that other person and then give it back to them maybe all you can do is 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 take them uh, you know halfway to their destination and then hand it back over to them 
them. It's okay if you can't take them all the way. It's okay if you can't carry it for them all the way to the finish line. But if you're able to come out of yourself just for a moment to help someone else, just for a moment to help somebody else carry their burden, it may just help you get a better focus. It may be able to help you not to feel so helpless, not to feel so overwhelmed. Uh, to, uh, the, the good feeling of in the midst of your issue and, and in the midst of your being frustrated that you're able to reach out and love someone and touch someone and just come outside of yourself for a moment learn to be a blessing i know that we all love to be blessed it's a wonderful and a beautiful thing to be blessed but sometimes sometimes it's important for us to be able to be a blessing and i think that when we're able to extend ourselves even if it's just for a moment to be a blessing you're gonna feel a little bit better you're gonna feel uh, a little bit more fulfilled uh, you're sowing good seeds you are uh, helping you are uh, feeling good about the fact that you're just not stuck in your misery misery but you're you're looking beyond yourself you're looking beyond yourself and so I love you guys and and I know that you may you may have it hard right now you may feel overwhelmed you may feel very very frustrated but our prayers are with you we cover you we bless you hold on hold on with everything that is within you hold on to God and reach outside yourself to just even for a moment touch someone else and bless someone else okay I love you guys Woo! somebody touched a button that they're not supposed to touch <laughs> and that's the girls messing with hold on a second you bless me every year uh oh hold on guys and now the door is locked Thank you, Hadara. <laughs> you tell them, don't touch anything. And of course, something is going to get touched. So I'm going to get these girls to school. I love you guys. Uh, I bless you. You guys are so amazing. Um, you guys really help me and you make my day every day. When I get your emails, you make my day. When I see your, your comments on Instagram, you make my day. When you come on the prayer call, you make my day. You guys are just amazing. And I love you all, all right? I love you guys. Rainfirechurch.org. Send me an email if you want to come to uh, the brunch uh, at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Um, for those of you that give, rainfirechurch.org. Click give. You can text Rainfire to 77977. Um, that's for those of you that give your tithes and your offering to Rainfire Church. Send me an email. Joanne, Lomina, I miss you. Joanne at rainfirechurch.org if you're going to be a part of... Uh, the brunch on Sunday, okay? Send your name, how many people will be in your party, and we will be ready for you, all right? I love you guys, and have an amazing day. Bye. Bye.